Hello and welcome to Know About Chef. Today on the menu we're making carbonara. Yeah, we're doing the more traditional Italian carbonara. Uh, we used to always make carbonara with the cream and garlic and everything like that. but like A cream-based one, yeah. but we always felt really heavy, heavy afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> like, not a great feeling. We'd crave carbonara, but then after you finish eating it, yeah. you're like, it was good, but now I feel, I feel a little really bit heavy. rubbish. Yeah. <laughs> so we, some time ago, we switched to doing the more traditional Italian carbonara which uses eggs with no cream or garlic and that well, even though we do put a bit of garlic in We still in put it. garlic in because we like garlic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah this is still quite a nice taste I mean the egg yolky flavors are really nice with the pasta and the pancetta has that smoky meaty flavor to it. So. Yeah we definitely prefer this version of carbonara as opposed to what we used to make with yeah. the creamier cream based yeah. carbonara. Yeah it's not as heavy so it's quite yeah. nice. So let's get cooking. Let's get cooking. First thing I'm going to do is put my pot of water on the stove top and get it up to boil. I'll just salt it a bit and put the lid on. So that way it'll be boiling and ready to go by the time I'm ready to cook my pasta. Since I'm cooking with dry pasta, I will, I just salted the water a bit so it'll help season the, the dried pasta as it cooks. If I was using fresh made pasta where it's still slightly sticky, I'd put a little bit of oil on top of the water. That way when I'm putting the pasta into the water, it wouldn't stick. But since we're using dried pasta, that's not necessary. So I'm using a block of Parmesan cheese and I'm just gonna be grating it on this side of the, the grater, which makes it like a really fine powder. I mean, we have put a measurement on the recipe, but you measure this stuff with your heart. It's cheese. It's cheese. It's really good. So we've said 60 grams of powdered parmesan cheese, but feel free to uh, add what you like. Yeah. And be sure to set some of this aside so you can sprinkle a little bit on the top afterwards as well. So I'm using four large eggs. I'm using two whole eggs. And I'm using the yolk from two eggs. But I prefer a yolky flavor in my carbonara. <laughs> now I have my eggs in my bowl. I'm going to mix my cheese, my Parmesan cheese in, leaving a little bit left to put on top once I finish, and pepper. I'm putting in about half a teaspoon of pepper. And you just whisk that together so it's nice and combined and then we'll set that aside ready for when the pasta and the pancetta is cooked. The next step is to cook out my pancetta. I've got 170 grams of pre-diced pancetta but if you're buying your pancetta in a block or using bacon and that just dice it up into reasonable sized chunks so the chunks I'm using are about that big. So then you just get your pan on the stove top nice and hot with a decent slosh of olive oil and cook it out not until it's too crispy you don't want to burn it until it's nice and cooked and then we'll move on to the next step while the pancetta is cooking add half a teaspoon of garlic so while my pancetta and garlic are cooking in the pan i'm going to quickly throw my pasta in to cook and hopefully they'll be ready at the same time that's the plan anyway. That's the plan anyway. <laughs> Pixel, you're not allowed in the kitchen until we finished. Yeah, but I can sneak in while you're not looking. Does it smell good, does it? I'm just using some spring onion to garnish the pasta at the end. So I'm just going to quickly cut that out while everything else is finishing cooking. Just going to cut it nice and thinly. So I've just finished cooking my pasta al dente to the tooth so it's a little bit firm at the center. Now I've got to quickly drain it and then pop it in my pan. So now my pancetta is cooked in my pan, it's still hot, my pasta has just finished cooking in the pot, I've just drained it out, shaked off the water, and then I'm going to put that straight into my pan with my pancetta, I'll turn the heat off, I'll 
stir that through the pancetta and the oils and that. Then I'll take that pan from the heat, even though we just turned it off a second ago. I'll take that and I'll put the pasta and pancetta mix into the bowl with my egg and I'll mix it through into the bowl. I put my pasta and pancetta mix into the bowl and I'll mix it through the egg mix instead of the other way around. Just so I'm not cooking the egg too much if the pan's a little bit too hot. Because we just want the heat from the pasta and the pancetta to cook the eggs out a bit instead of cooking them out in the pan. And then we'll serve. So there you have it. That's our version of a traditional carbonara. It was quite tasty. We're looking forward to this one. We are really looking forward to eating this. <laughs> <laughs> but it is a super simple recipe and it doesn't make you feel anywhere near no. as heavy as the cream, cream ones that we used one, to make. Yeah. Um, I didn't use any salt in this one in the end. You can season the taste, but because the parmesan and the pancetta is quite salty and we seasoned the water for the pasta as well, didn't need any extra salt. No. So. If you would like to make our version of creamless, creamy carbonara, <laughs> <laughs> then go to the link in the description below, click that, it'll take you to our website which has all of our recipes on it. Mm -hmm. If you do make it, send us pictures on social, social media. media. <laughs> <laughs> we also have some new patrons that we'd like to say thank you to. We have some new Apprentice Chef level patrons, a smart mum, that's a good name. <laughs> yeah, <I love> <laughs> Bruce, Rose and Justin Miller, so thank you guys, we appreciate it. And we also have a new Commie Chef patron, uh, Maggie Crandall, it's a good name too. Yeah. Good name. <laughs> uh, thank you Maggie for being a patron, it's not myself I promise. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate all of our patrons as well as everybody who kindly donates to us through PayPal and of course all of our subscribers, whether yeah. you Send us gifts or, <laughs> or not. not. <laughs> Everybody who watches our videos, we appreciate you. Yeah. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.